guys good to see you again my name is Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification button so that you can never miss a new video when I drop it now today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day like as usual to maintain this shape or what I eat in a day to lose weight so you know that losing weight is not that easy gaining it is very easy because we do it unconsciously losing weight is hard because you do it consciously you must lose it that's why it's hard but if you do certain things in your lifestyle that just small small things then you'll be able to maintain a good shape without having to worry about excess kilos or yeah fat so as for me i have adopted in my lifestyle small small things that i do or that i eat that i'm able to maintain a desirable shape when I just wake up in the morning, I take what I call a wake-up drink. Now, my wake-up drink is not complicated. It's just water. They say water is life and our bodies are made up of 60% of water. So the more you drink up, the more you uh, eliminate that, the toxin in the body. And of course, uh, your organs are all made up of water and they need water. So, I drink water, warm water in the morning, first thing, and I add in a lemon. Now, the importance of lemon here is to just stimulate your liver. I know the liver is responsible for detoxifying your body and eliminating an excretion of wastes. So when you wake up in the morning and drink water first thing in the morning, it's going to, of course, uh, wake up the liver to be able to metabolize and excrete as, as good as possible. And lemon is also good because it provides vitamin C. Vitamin C and contains magnesium, potassium, and to mention but a few. So let's get started. Let me show you how I make my first wake up drink in the morning. You have to drink this first thing in the morning when you wake up. You drink it before you eat anything else. Then maybe you take about 30 minutes before you now go ahead to have your breakfast. So let's go ahead and make my wake up drink. So guys, of course, you're gonna boil up your water very quick. Then get your, your lemon. I usually use a half lemon. So I just cut my lemon into half and keep the rest for tomorrow. And normally I'll just put it in a sack. And then I put it in the fridge. So what I'll never typically do is that I'm just gonna just prick prick this lemon to be able to just loosen up those uh, the juice holders before I squeeze it you see it's already dripping and then I'll just squeeze it into my glass to so squeeze the lemon into the glass so that everything goes in there everything is nice and squeezy now it's time to add your water warm water now normally because I work I work every day I don't have the time to sit there and wait for it to cool down so what I will do I'll put in up to that level almost halfway and then I'll add in cold water so I'll add in cold water so that it's just at the right temperature to drink up Okay, but if you have the time, you can just make it hot and just wait for it to cool down again. But that's wasting time. <laughs> Always don't forget your straw, your drinking straw. It's very important because, as you know, this is acidic, it's not very good for your teeth enamel and as well, yeah, in the mouth. So it's better you drink it with a straw. Put it in. So you just have to sit down or stand, but be relaxed and just slowly sip on your morning wake up drink and then, like I said this is to just wake up your body to just wake up your organs and most in the liver because this also works as a detox fire and you know the liver is the one which is important for detoxifying your body or responsible for detox it's quite hot in some water to make it a bit less hot just add in some water so that at least it's at a drinkable temperature you don't want to burn your lips <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> so this is a magic wake up drink very very good very healthy in this just simple glass of water with lemon there's miracles I mean vitamin C potassium magnesium simple as it is it has the best to wake up your body in the morning drink done 30 minutes later we're gonna have our breakfast so come with me let's prepare our breakfast so guys typically for breakfast I'll go for something like yogurt you know yogurt is very good for weight loss because it contains all the benefits of diary without the added fat you know so that way it's very good for your weight loss plans or weight loss yeah dreams call them what but I mean yogurt is a you can never go wrong with yogurt if you're on a weight loss diet Hi there, good to see you again. So, I'm choosing yogurt for my weight loss regimen because yogurt has good properties as well, contains good uh, bacteria that are good for your gut, for your stomach and for digestion. But as well, it is calcium rich and contain, and you know calcium is very good for your bones, of course. But apart from that, calcium is very good for uh, if you want to lose weight. So yogurt is a place to go, you can never go wrong with it. So right here today, I'm gonna use a pomegranate, but you can use apples, you can use pears, you can use any fruit that is available in your home or in your yeah, village or whatever. Anyway, any fruit you can get your hands on. Today I'm using a pomegranate. Now this is a messy fruit to peel, some people don't like peeling it because yeah, it's not that it's the simplest to peel but I'll have my trick how I quickly uh, deceive it. So let's go ahead and also look at that and enjoy this yummy breakfast together. We cut off that bottle and as well, yeah, the other bottom as well. And then you just estimate where you see those uh, symmetrical lines estimate where you see them but first of all you will have to take out the center that will give you a good picture or guide on where the seeds are or the symmetrical lines are where you should cut from be careful with your dress I haven't put on my apron because I'm lazy to get it and actually I have to be very careful with this fruit in fact I mean I know I don't want to mess up my dress let me get my apron I'm nicely dressed up for <laughs> sl slaughtering this fruit because it's very messy. I didn't want it to mess up my dress. So now I'm ready for it. Let's go! So now guys, uh, now that we have cut it around those lines, let's go ahead and remove some more middle set things. Yeah, so now you're just gonna go ahead and cut along those lines. I think I see a line here. Cut there. And if you're not sure, just make small slits. I think if I cut along here, I'll be fine. Here too. Oh. And then when you're done, you're just gonna give the fruit a little bit of a a pull out oops <laughs> like that yeah now the seeds are already falling out see um, that's it and the rest you have to get a spoon but I like to use my hands because the spoon can end up being messy and uh, there we go so once the seeds are out you just dump them in a a little bowl and do the rest of the work it's a bit uh, some work but yeah what some work for some healthy stuff So, as you can see, 
most of the seeds are just in there if you remove that cover the out the cover covering separating the sections of the, the seeds you can nicely have all the seeds in one place and you just just work them out like this yeah open up like that and then you expose another section of the seeds and then you have them now I can do two days with this uh, one pomegranate because as you can see there's a lot of seeds in it hi guys now the hard work is done the pomegranate is nicely deseeded and this is what I've gotten out of one one fruit and yeah, now let's go ahead and prepare the yogurt in a bowl and add some of this fruit into the bowl and of course not forgetting some oatmeal that one never misses so right here i have my three ingredients that are gonna be in my breakfast bowl so let's go ahead and put some yogurt in the bowl Whatever is left in a packet is just enough for all today. I like to squeeze out the packet completely so that you see a big chunk. Nothing is left behind. Get your spoon, get it out. Go back a little bit for whatever is remaining behind. Like I always tell you, whatever is in this pack, you paid for it because it's weight. <laughs> and then the price is put, so yeah, why waste? See, right there. I think I've got the most out of it. Mmm, yummy. Yummy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yummy yogurt. This can go away. So now you have your nice yogurt. You're gonna go ahead and add in some pomegranate seeds. So let's go ahead and add in some pomegranate seeds. That should be enough. Because I'm gonna go ahead and add in some uh, oatmeal. Now look at that. Lovely. That's enough as well. Your yummy breakfast is done. Now in this bowl there's all you need for the morning. You know, there's some fruit, there's some protein with the yogurt, there's some calcium in the yogurt, the oatmeal. What more are you looking for guys? <laughs> and of course all these three combined together are good for weight loss. The yogurt, pomegranate, the uh, the oatmeal there you go you have your lovely breakfast look at that you can go ahead and mix it up but before that we're gonna so we're just gonna go ahead and mix up everything And then typically you just sit down and enjoy this bowl of goodness in the morning and trust me after eating this you will not crave anything else you will take so many hours without feeling hungry so that the whole purpose is that you avoid snacking between meals and that will help you with your weight loss goals look at that yummy now let's go ahead and enjoy this hi yo <laughs> look at this bowl of goodness guys so come with me let's enjoy it together So good. Mm. 
You know the pomegranate seeds are so crunchy and juicy. Mm. Cheers. It's already midday and it's lunch time and usually at lunch time I'm at work and so I, I usually take something easy and good to go and not usually something simple as bread but I usually choose a healthier version of bread when I have to eat bread I use uh, I choose whole wheat bread because as you know white bread is not healthy so I always avoid that like a plague and go for the healthier version of bread and so let's get to see how I make my sandwich. Usually I go for a sandwich and what makes it uh, really special is that what I top on my sandwich should be something healthier. Of course some people do butter, some people do meat, but I go for something healthier and this is what I go for. Most times maybe a salad onto my sandwich or I just go for egg whites on my sandwich or better still I go for avocado on my sandwich. So. I'm glad that at my job we have a bread roaster, we have a, a microwave, so you can always make uh, your quick lunch very quickly at my at, at your job, at my job, at, in this case. So let's get started and see how I make my healthy, yummy sandwich for weight loss. Well, today I am home, of course, but normally I'm at my work, and so I use a bread roaster at my job. So I'll just quickly put my slices of bread into the bread roaster. <laughs> Come on, this bread is a very weird funny shape, so I have put it in inverted or some diagonal like that. And I'll just turn on the machine and let my bread roast a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm preparing my avocado. So most times I'll just have my small avocado. And most times I will just make small, small slices of the avocado. And then of course, you're not gonna eat the peel. Take that off. Yes, I like the healthier versions of food. I always tell people the supermarkets sell all kinds of bullshit. Sorry for that language. But it's up to you to pick out yeah, the better products, the healthier products for yourself. So I'm going to use half of it so I put the rest in a sack. This I can use in my salad later. There's no up uh, avocados don't stay long good so when you've opened them up you need to consume them immediately so now that i have my avocado ready check on my bread you don't want it to be very very roasted yeah i think it's good you just cancel, cancel that and once it's ready put your bread there And you're gonna put some mustard over it. Put some 
pass it over this one as well so it's gonna be the good side yeah Once you're done, you're gonna line your avocados over the avo over the bread. Once you're done, you can top it up nicely with some coriander. When I'm at my job, I do I skip the coriander bit because yes, I only have 30 minutes for lunch, so I don't have so much time to do all that. Add some black paper on top. Just to spice it up a little bit. And then there you go, voila. So typically this is my lunch. Simple, quick and healthy. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's my lunch sandwich and most times I take a cup of tea as well and sometimes a cup of soup because in my job they give us a cup of soup. Most times I don't take the soup because sometimes it's too salty. So I just keep it and just take myself a cup of juice or sometimes a curry or so, a smoothie. But basically this is my main lunch on a typical day. So as you can see the sandwich is complete and only waiting for me to just eat it. <laughs> So guys, this is one way you can enjoy a healthier sandwich. As I said, the bread is whole wheat bread, a healthier version of bread. So no worries. That's the sexy sandwich waiting to be munched on. Okay guys, let's go enjoy. Hi y'all guys. Uh, welcome to this uh, simple lunch and of course Check right here for the benefits of avocados for weight loss. But right now, come enjoy with me. Oh, this avocado fell out. Get back in. Yeah, like that. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Happy that when something is delicious. Cheers. Look at that goodness. Okay. Yummy. Now, if this is not healthy. I don't know what healthy is. Mm, mm, mm. So lekka, it's so nice, it's so yummy, it's so nice, it's so yummy, it's so nice. Hi guys, time has gone and now it's 4 o'clock and it's time to make dinner. Most times we eat at 5 and then that's when my husband is home and so we go ahead and eat and when it's home dinner has to be ready. Yeah, not has to as a must but yeah, normally that's our timetable we eat at 5. And so it's 4 o'clock and now I'm going to go ahead and make my dinner, our dinner. <laughs> and so tonight we are having a cucumber salad and also we are going to have bulgur and we're gonna have as well uh, capsainas that is a Dutch name I don't know what they call it marrow peas 
something like that but it's some plant protein based thing like some kind of that line of peas or beans i don't know what they call it in english but you get to see them anyways let's get preparing the dinner and let's get yummy yummy delicious yummy yummy delicious booty, booty. Uh, guys as we prepare the salad right here is one cup of bulgur bulgur is some kind of grain you can look it up but i'm gonna also leave some kind of details here or picture on the side so you get to know what bulgur is but this is what it looks like it looks like it's bulgur it's not rice by the way it's some other kind of grain that's what it looks like also very healthier version enough for two people eh? and let, let it boil as now we prepare the salad now let that boil up as we prepare the salad so let's get working the trick guys to trick to uh, having control of your weight is to always at every sitting to when you're eating it especially your main meals make sure that your plate is mostly full of greens veggies or salads and then the rest can be just the top up but make sure your plate is always full of salad so that you can fill your tummy with that salad before you go ahead and uh, eat the other uh, carbs and uh, I don't know what so gonna make diagonal shapes because usually I have a nice little it's gonna make them like that small slices cucumber salad Once I'm done like that, I'm gonna go ahead and give them some more slices like that along. And then just put it in the bowl. Right there and I just go ahead and give it another slice through like that and then just dump it in in my plate I'll do a half of this otherwise it will be too much for both of us there has to be more lots of things coming in so that should be enough and what I do I, I put the rest little plastic bag for another day tomorrow maybe so this is what I have so far in the bowl 
we go ahead and make some green peppers clean up clean up clean up because the cucumbers are messy some kitchen paper clean up so and now when you're done get some green peppers get a slice of some yellow get some slice of the red one once you're done chop this up as well now this one I give it cubes so This is also very eye appealing when your salad is so colorful it makes you want to eat and there you end up eating more salad than, than carbs at your dinner. When we're done with that, this is a mango, it's also going in but not all of it, we're just gonna chop a half of it. Mango is also very good for in the salad, especially cucumber salad, they go very well together. Like I said, you're just gonna use not all of it, just a little bit because it's not a mango salad, it's a cucumber salad. Okay, so you just don't want to use too much of it. So now the rest of the mango you can keep and use it in a smoothie. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna use that one in the smoothie for my work. Tomorrow is Monday. There you go. This mango gives the salad some little sweet touch, you know. Put that uh, on the side. Sometimes I use corn, yellow corn, but uh, I'm keeping that and using a mango instead. Let's put that on the side, dry up our chopping board with the kitchen paper, nicely been washed, washed, and in time to chop the tomato up. I like my tomatoes, they never miss in my salad. Tomatoes. Good. There you go. Put that there. Now it's beautiful. Now we're gonna chop something else on there. We're gonna add in some pickles. Also very nice and yummy. These are pickles.
don't complicate life just give them rough chops this one as well roughly chop up so now bring the board and put it right here find a little place for it there you go now isn't that looking beautiful Be careful with your knife skills. Don't go so fast like I am. Just in case you cut yourself. There you go. And once you're done, just introduce this somewhere else. Maybe around here. Look at that that beautiful and now that you're nicely done with the, most of the topping and everything you're gonna add some peanuts our burger is still cooking let's check on it little bit some more time and they'll be done so we're gonna add in some peanuts these are roasted peanuts just to give yourself some roughness, some crunchiness when you're eating it. So add some peanuts, just right there in the middle. Okay? Right there in the middle, you add your peanuts. And now your salad is... Right there is our cute looking salad again, guys. And I like to mix it up when we are going to eat. Because when you do mix up, eat up so early, it, then it becomes soggy and it's not that nice. So I like to leave the ingredients dry and when we are about to eat on the table, we put in our dressing and mix it up when you are going to eat it immediately. So right here on this pan, right here on this pan we are just going to add this ham, I think they are in English they are called ham blocks or stripes, I'll look up the word in English but in in Dutch, they are called aspecies. That's in Dutch. In English, I've forgotten the real word, but I'll look it up. Now, somebody may think, oh, you're eating a weight loss there. Why are you eating uh, the fatty ham blockage? But I'm, I'm telling you, if you're on a weight loss there and you want to lose weight, doesn't mean you should not eat at all any meat. Or you should not eat at all any fat. No, your body needs some fat as well as some protein. But how much of it are you eating? That is the question. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry up this ham baby because they were frozen. That's why I'm doing them like that so uh, let's go ahead and store away our half chopped paprika for another time I like to just put them all in this one sack and just seal it off and then put it in the in the fridge for another day hi guys so now that your your specks are nicely brown and baked they're crunchy 
as you can see we're gonna add in the onion and imagine I never put any oil in it that's the oil from the ham itself it was enough add some carrots as well and just mix up all these together and let them bake for a while what the ham looks like I'm sure it's called ham in English and that is speckless there you go all looking nice let this uh, bake for about maybe 2 3 minutes my food because uh, then I lose most of the nutrients from the thing so now guys those are the capsainas I don't know what they call them in English some kind of peas mallot peas something like that but those are the capsainas also a very healthier version of protein uh, of prote or plant based protein so I'm gonna go ahead and add this gonna go ahead and add this to our baked stripes and then just mix it up and then at this moment it's ready by the way because the, these ones are cooked maybe just let it cook for about three to four minutes you can now spice it up with you can spice it up with some yeah spices if you like no need for salt because the ham or speckies have salt already and they are really salty so there you go Right here I have Royco. I can say to put in some Royco for some more flavor. So I'll go into my Royco and get some one spoon of Royco powder. Just add it in. Get another one. That's two. And you're good to go. That's it. No need for any other spices. Otherwise, you spoil the good flavor of the capsainas. No need for heavy spices. spicy by adding in some chili peppers right there you see some red red flakes that is this chili I've just added in right there this chili pepper that I've just chopped up and added in you can see them focus on it they're right there it's very spicy so that's why you put in very little right over there guys is the cooked bulgur it's all ready to be eaten very very yummy so you can see that these are larger grains some people may think it's rice but it's not rice it's called bulgur it's some kind of wheat grain but it's very healthy so that's bulgur is cooked and ready to be eaten just like that and then right here uh, our capsainas with speckies and then of course right here 
here is the salad so the last step guys is to make the salad dressing and usually I like to keep my salad dressing very simple with the basic ingredients like olive oil extra virgin olive oil so I'll add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into my bowl and then I'll add vinegar these are the two ingredients this is table vinegar I'll just add a few teaspoons of table vinegar in there about three and then not to forget our lemon squeeze in a little bit not so much of a lemon that's enough and then this is smoked paprika smoked paprika you just add in a little bit of it that's it and then you add in some honey in your dressing And then add in some chives, dried chives, and that's it. And the last step is to just mix it up. That's your dressing, it's ready. Very ready. It's a dressing. And then when it's time to eat, you will get a bit of everything. For example, typically this is how my plate of food would be. I get a bit of everything on this salad. A bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of tomato, a bit of green pepper, a bit of cucumber, bit of mango yeah a bit of some peanuts and then typically I would just get my dressing that's my dressing and I'll just add it all over my salad like that When I'm done, then I would get, of course, a scoop of the bulgur, put it on the side, another scoop, put it right there. Get some of my nice goodness of capsainas, put it right there put it right there and that here guys is my dinner isn't it lovely so healthy so yummy you can never go wrong with this kind of dinner so right there is a plate of healthy dinner wow wonderful like this I don't know what you would like this is really looking good and trust me it's so yummy hi guys thank you for watching and we've come to the end of this video and I hope you've enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a comment like share and subscribe as well if you're new and don't forget to tell a friend to come and subscribe to this channel let's grow in numbers and I hope you've learned something from my meal prep I've kept it realistic I'm a type who doesn't like to uh, have strict dieting I never do that because I cannot keep up with it so I just do my thing eat what I enjoy eat what I enjoy eating most but of course cautiously keeping in mind to avoid the unhealthy things so I hope to see you next time in another video adios bye bye
that's the dance I do when I'm going to have a nice yummy dinner. Now, bye!